There are tons of videos about this topic. Do you need to go to university to get a degree in order to make games? One YouTuber I like to follow, his name is Thomas Brush, says that you should probably finish university if you know you don't have enough discipline to pursue game development. But what is really the truth? Do you really need a computer science degree to program games? I'm gonna give you the answer in this video. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm an indie game developer from Romania, currently working on a turn-based RPG called Tale and Ale. It's going to be released in the future on Android Store and maybe iOS, so stay tuned for that. But in the meanwhile, we're gonna talk about computer science degree and game development, let's get into it. First, let's talk about one fundamental question. Do you need any programming at all to make games? And the sad answer is, it really depends. It heavily depends on what kind of game you want to make. If you want to make platformers, honestly, you probably don't need to know any programming at all. There are so many tools out there, so many engines that just take care of stuff like physics, jumping, controls. They just take care of that out of the box and you don't need much programming at all. Also, point and click games, they're kind of easy to make. But the real question is, in order to make more complex games, more interesting systems, do you need to know how to program? And the answer is yes, you do need to know at least some programming. But often people assume programming is the same thing as coding, which is not. First off, what kind of things can you make with programming in your game? Well, it's stuff like game logic, which is gonna cover the most of your programming, stuff like jumping, moving, attacking, and so on, depends on the game, really. And then there's networking, for which you kinda need to know some programming, but there's tools, there's a lot of tools for that. And there's also working with databases, which can be kind of challenging sometimes. It definitely helps to know some programming for those. But still, even if you don't know programming, you can do these things because there's so many plugins and there's such big communities built around these things for Unity, for Stencil, for any game engine you're gonna use. You can do this with the help of others and with the help of what artists have already done. So we can kind of infer that the answer to our question is not really. You don't really need a CS degree to make games. Hell, you don't even need to have a background in programming. You don't need to know much programming at all. But let's ask another question. How far can you get with making games without programming? The real answer is not very far. If you really don't want to program your games at all, you're probably not going to get very much ahead of the basic platformer game. You're gonna need to know how to tweak numbers, how to tweak calculations, which, you know, is more of a thing about game design, if you know how to do it in the engine, but you're really gonna need to know how to program some of those things. Well, I can program. Back to law school, I guess. Might as well make my parents proud. Should you quit? No. There are game engines in which you can make games without coding and you can take care of the game's logic with these things called code blocks, which you can arrange into patterns to make complex game logic. And this can bring your game to such higher levels of complexity just by using these built-in tools for programming a game without writing any code because I believe writing code is what scares people in programming. Writing code is not necessarily the only way to program things. Really, the Unreal Blueprints is also programming. Stencils, code blocks are also programming but they're much more easier and intuitive. Moreover, this secondary types of programming, you know, stencil blueprints, they're gonna teach you the basics of logic in programming. So if you already know how to do these things, you're gonna know how to program games already. It's gonna be a lot easier for you to get into coding from working with blueprints. If you wanna make a larger project, do you need to know a lot more programming? And the answer is yes and no. One of the things I see computer science students struggle with is making larger projects because as you type code and as you make more scripts, more classes, it's gonna get messy. It's gonna be really hard to administer and maintain. So one skill in programming is learning how to build larger projects. Unfortunately, computer science doesn't really teach you how to do that because what it does is give you this really broad understanding of the fundamentals 
in computer science and programming. You're not gonna really know how to do anything well, but you're gonna know how to do a lot of stuff. And this computer science degree might help you get into a real paid job for a corporation. If you want to work as a programmer for a large AAA studio, chances are you're going to need a degree. I know it can be quite easy to get a programming job without a degree. Those jobs are mostly for scripting languages like Python, or for front-end development with the JavaScript. That is in really high demand at this point. But if you don't really care about your position in that AAA company, you can also apply as a game tester and maybe one day you'll achieve the status of a game designer. I can't really say much about sound design or art because it's not my domain. For indie games, for starting your own company, things are much more different because programming is not by any means the only skill you're gonna need. You're also gonna need to know some game design, some sound design, maybe artwork if you do that kind of stuff and you don't, you know, don't download it from the internet, which you're probably gonna do, you're probably gonna use assets. You're also gonna need to know some marketing, you're also gonna need to know how to talk to people and how to not starve. And making games requires tons of discipline. It's your job. If you become an indie game developer and if you're gonna treat that as a job, you're gonna need some discipline to work on it and finish it. Like yeah, who am I to say that because I haven't really finished something yet, but I'm really on my way to doing it. And by the way, check out my game. It's not out yet, is it? Hey, if you're watching this and my game is out, Check it out! Okay, so if you don't need a computer science degree, when should you apply for university? You should only... You should only apply for university if you're sure that's what you really love doing because it's definitely not worth wasting three to four years of your life on something you don't like and on something you're not sure you're gonna like. I was pretty sure I liked computer science and programming so that's what kept me going. But I know so many people who don't like the university, not necessarily in computer science, but also I have a friend who finished geography and she absolutely hates it. I have another friend who finished, is finishing law school, I believe, this year. She absolutely hates it. She doesn't want to work that. She wants to work in the airplanes industry. How crazy is that? But it's just peer pressure. Sometimes parents put pressure on their children to go to university and finish fast. That's how it is, in my country at least. So take it easy, take a break, get a job. Find what you really enjoy doing. Because it's not worth wasting so much time on something you don't like. It's really not. Time is the only thing we can't get more of in our lives. It's also very important to note that in some states, like United States of America, university can be really expensive and can get you into a lot of debt. Thankfully here it's quite cheap and in Northern European countries, I hear it's, um, it's free, basically. At least some. So yeah, the computer science degree is a way to give you a head start in the industry of game development and a way for you to get into AAA game development, to big companies, to work as a programmer. Otherwise, there are so many other skills you should go to before applying for computer science. The final answer is no, you absolutely do not need a degree to make games. However, you're gonna have to learn some programming. And that's quite easy because there are tons of tools. Hey, I have a detailed video on, hold on, hey, on stencil, um, check it out. If you've gotten this far in the video, I have some thanks to give you. And I kindly ask you to hit that like button and subscribe if you like my content. I upload weekly and I try to keep myself on the schedule of uploading every Saturday. Also. Follow me on my Facebook page and my Twitter page, which I have linked down in the description below. Until next time, my name is Dave Doubly. Have a nice development journey.